Right, let's kick off with one of the major talking points in sport at the moment, concussion. Football, rugby and cricket have all seen some high-profile players affected by it. As a result, professional sports have introduced special protocols to protect players. But with an incident of concussion every 21 games in amateur rugby, there are calls for a similar approach at the grassroots level as well. Well, now the brain injury charity Headway has launched a campaign to ensure the dangers of concussion get through. Rob Haldon Pratt has more on this. Never underestimate sports capacity to advance the nation's medical knowledge. We first learned about cruciate knee ligaments when Paul Gascoigne injured his in the 1991 FA Cup final. And of course there was the saga of Beckham's broken metatarsal which dominated headlines ahead of the 2002 World Cup. Now the injury that everyone is talking about is concussion. It's become the most high profile health issue in sport. We know that younger people are more likely to have concussion and females are more likely to have concussion than males and it's really important we get that message across that if you have one hit on the head, one concussion, then you go on to have another one quite quickly, you're going to be in real trouble. Northampton Saints stars George North and England captain Dylan Hartley had spells out of the game after being knocked out. Such is the concern over the issue within sports like American football. It even led to a Hollywood movie starring Will Smith about a doctor's fight to get the sporting authorities to provide greater protection to players. Repetitive head trauma shocks the brain. Closer to home, awareness of the injury has led to sports like football and rugby introducing new protocols to ensure any players affected are immediately withdrawn. And it's something brain injury charity Headway wants to see adopted in grassroots sports. We feel that in the professional sports they're possibly well aware of concussion and they have physiotherapists and doctors on, on hand who can help. But when it comes to amateur sports they may be lacking in that knowledge and that expertise. So we want to draw to their attention the importance of people sitting out if they have concussion. Concussion is a brain injury caused by a blow to the head. Symptoms can include nausea, dizziness, blurred vision and headaches. Symptoms typically appear in the first 48 hours and anyone with a suspected concussion should consult their GP. Now the charity's launched a campaign aimed at raising awareness among amateur players. Don't be a hero. If in doubt, sit it out. At clubs like Eastern Counties Rugby here in Cambridge, they're used to treating muscle pulls and strains, but the message on concussion is getting through. We've had meetings and we've been spoke to by the medical team about what symptoms are of concussion and if you're feeling it, come speak to them and at the end of the day, it's, they make the call. Definitely with it being um, in the media a lot more, coaches, referees, management, they've all been more on our side with the management of concussion and um, more understanding that when a player needs to be removed for play, he needs to be removed for play. It's hoped that the phrase, if in doubt, sit it out, could become as familiar in the amateur game as it is now with the pros. Rob Haldon-Pratt, ITV News.